help us with this, and, and some of the audience may know this, your co-founder of the company uh, was Peter Thiel. Peter is on the other side of you politically completely, it seems. How do you reconcile that, especially given the issues that I think that you support and that I know that he supports? Um, well, you know, it, 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 we, Peter and I have been friends for almost 30 years. We met um, at Stanford. Uh, he was on the right side of many issues. He's a little more eclectic, I think, than Pete, but mostly on the right, and I was mostly, if not exclusively, on more kind of a progressive side of things. Um, and I think it, I, look, I think one of the problems in this country is there are not enough people like Peter and me. Like, we've been fighting about things for 30 years. So you have to take the political dialogue, which is super generative, but, and then the business dialogue. In the business dialogue, we tend to have similar assumptions, but not always the same interpretation. And, and like, it's just a very productive relationship, and he's, a, I would call him a good friend. Um, <laughs> And yes, we don't agree, and we have a great division of labor. He's, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, a, look, there's a Yiddish term called shmatas, which means rags. I'm a designer uh, and purveyor of digital shmatas. I'm an operator. Uh, and uh, uh, that's what I do for a living. And uh, I, I am very focused on that. I'm not without talent in that area. And I really enjoy my discourse with Peter on areas where I think he's the best in the world. And we don't agree politically. And by the way, I felt very free. I mean, I got in trouble for calling, it was a public tape you can find where I used four letter words to describe Trump. But I'll tell you in part because of the dialogue, I warned my Democratic friends and colleagues that Trump was gonna win. And part of the reason I knew he was gonna win is I'm in dialogue with people who liked him and I knew why they liked him. And a lot of my friends thought that was an asinine, stupid and improbable position. And maybe if they had listened, that would be a different world but they didn't listen because they're only talking to people who agree with themselves, with them. And I think that's a huge problem in our society. Like I don't, I know what I think. I'd like to hear what someone else thinks. And by the way, I kind of think I'm right. So if you have your argument, we can argue about it. Like I don't, I think a lot of my progressive friends have a little bit of an inferiority complex if I'm allowed to critique my progressive friends. If you're, if you're right, why do you care that you're in dialogue with someone who's wrong? I like that. I have pretty strong opinions. Prove me wrong, I'd love to hear it. Um, hard to know where to go from there. Uh, 